Well, what happens when you work very hard in a movie for a while, you you wind up not having the slightest idea what you've said. <laughs> Warren Beatty, a towering figure in Hollywood with a career spanning over six decades, has left an indelible mark on the film industry as an actor, director, producer, and screenwriter. As he navigates his later years, his legendary status remains undiminished, though speculation about his health has arisen, as it often does with public figures of his stature. Join Facts First as we present Warren Beatty is hiding from the public after his health takes a turn. Warren Beatty was born March 30th, 1937 in Richmond, Virginia. He emerged from humble beginnings to become one of Hollywood's most enduring and influential figures. Raised in a conservative Southern Baptist household, Beatty's upbringing instilled in him a strong work ethic and a drive for success. He attended Northwestern University on a football scholarship, but soon found his true calling in theater and switched his major to drama. Beatty's early career in acting saw him appearing in various television shows and small film roles. But it was his breakthrough performance in the 1961 film Splendor in the Grass, opposite Natalie Wood, that catapulted him to stardom. His portrayal of the sensitive and conflicted Bud Stamper earned him critical acclaim and marked him as a rising talent in Hollywood. Throughout the 60s, Beatty solidified his reputation as a versatile actor with roles in films like Lilith and Bonnie and Clyde, the latter of which he also produced. The groundbreaking crime drama not only showcased Beatty's acting prowess, but also marked his transition into producing and directing. His meticulous attention to detail and dedication to his craft quickly earned him respect within the industry. As his career progressed, Beatty continued to push boundaries in front of and behind the camera. He directed and starred in films like Shampoo and Reds, the latter of which earned him an Academy Award for Best Director. Beatty's commitment to storytelling and his willingness to tackle complex subjects made him a revered figure in Hollywood. Beatty's Long Career it was his role as Clyde Barrow in Bonnie and Clyde that really cemented his status as a cinematic icon. Not only did he deliver a compelling performance alongside Faye Dunaway, but he also produced the film, demonstrating his multifaceted talent and ambition. Bonnie and Clyde became a landmark film of the new Hollywood era, challenging conventional storytelling and revitalizing American cinema. In Shampoo, his portrayal of a charismatic but morally ambiguous hairdresser showcased his knack for complex characters and earned him another Academy Award nomination. Though his success from Shampoo and his image as a sex symbol gave him conflicting feelings. In an interview with Roger Ebert, he said, And I suppose, yeah, my own image might have something to do with the way people see George. I ignore all that crap about my sex life. At the same time, Warren was aware that being a sex symbol could have its share of drawbacks. He continued in that interview that People magazine had written about an incident where he was hitting on a photographer on set and that he fired her and made her cry in front of everyone. Said Beatty, quote, that was a flat out lie and I got the editor to admit it was wrong, but they still wouldn't print a retraction. They wanted me to write a letter and then they'd put on an editor's note or some such crap. I'm gonna sue. One of Beatty's most ambitious projects was Reds in 1981, the sweeping epic he directed, produced, co-wrote, and starred in. The film, which chronicles the life of American journalist and communist activist John Reed, earned Beatty widespread praise and accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Director. Red stands as a testament to Beatty's directorial vision and storytelling prowess, cementing his reputation as a formidable filmmaker. His influence extends to his collaborations with some of the industry's most talented artists. His partnerships with directors like Arthur Penn, Hal Ashby, and Elaine May have resulted in enduring cinematic classics that continue to captivate audiences. Throughout his career, Beatty has consistently pushed the boundaries of storytelling and challenged audiences to confront complex themes and ideas. He also hasn't been afraid to be overtly political, even in his films. His contributions to film have left an indelible mark on the industry, inspiring future generations of filmmakers and actors. Beatty's Personal Life Warren Beatty's legendary dating life is the stuff of Hollywood lore characterized by a string of high-profile relationships with some of the most glamorous women of his time. One of his earliest romances was with actress Joan Collins in the late 50s. 
This marked the beginning of his reputation as a ladies' man. Throughout the 60s and 70s, Beatty's list of conquests reportedly included stars like Natalie Wood, Leslie Caron, Julie Christie, and Diane Keaton, among others. But it was his relationship with Madonna in the early 90s that captured the public's imagination. Their dynamic personalities and chemistry made them tabloid fodder. Madonna even dedicated her album Bedtime Stories to Beatty, further fueling speculation about their affair. Despite his reputation as a notorious bachelor, Beatty surprised many when he settled down with actress Annette Bening in the early 90s. The two met on the film Bugsy, where Benning played opposite Beatty. Their on-screen chemistry turned into real-life romance, and they were married in 92. Beatty's relationship with Benning marked a departure from his previous Playboy image, as he embraced fatherhood and domestic life. Together, they've raised four children and built a life centered around their family and careers. Benning's unwavering support has been instrumental in Beatty's later years, as he's focused more on his role as a husband and father than on his Hollywood persona. Warren and Annette's daughter, Ella Corinne Beatty, has followed in her parents' footsteps to pursue a career in entertainment. Born April 8, 2000, Ella grew up in the spotlight, surrounded by the talents and influences of her famous parents. She's carved out her own path in Hollywood with determination and passion. She made her acting debut in the 2016 film Rules Don't Apply, directed by her father. Following that, she continued to hone her craft and expand her repertoire. In 2018, she appeared in the romantic drama The Year of Spectacular Men, a film that showcased her skills as an actress. She's also ventured into other aspects of entertainment. She's expressed interest in filmmaking and has been involved in various projects behind the scenes. Ella recently made her Broadway debut in Appropriate, taking over the role from Elle Fanning. Additionally, she can be seen starring as Carrie O'Shea in the FX series Feud Capote vs. the Swans. She's set to appear in the A24 film If I Had Legs, I'd Kick You, alongside Rose Byrne and ASAP Rocky. Sadly, Warren was unable to attend the opening night of her Broadway debut, which has led to speculation that he might be suffering from more serious health problems than what's been revealed. Beatty's Age and Health Warren has notably retreated from the public eye in recent times, sparking concern. Close sources and insiders have shared that Beatty, at 87, has been grappling with an undisclosed medical condition that's led him to avoid public appearances and outings. There's speculation that Beatty might be experiencing memory loss, prompting him to prefer staying at home over being seen in crowds. These concerns were heightened following his absence from Ella's Broadway debut and the absence from the red carpet since 2022. And in an incident in the Oscars in 2017, he appeared confused while presenting the Best Picture Award. And at the same time, in 2016, he still seemed sharp as he talked about the benefits of aging. While Beatty has always maintained a level of privacy about his personal life, his recent withdrawal from the public eye and the circulating rumors about his health have brought about a wave of sympathy and concern. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Warren's health is declining, or is he simply getting older? Let us know in the comments section below.